Imagine walking through Universal Florida with low crowds, little to no wait time for rides, unlimited food, snacks, treats, non-alcoholic beverages. Well, that imagination can become a reality with the Orlando Informer Meetup. The Orlando Informer, or OI Meetup, is a specialty ticketed event held on select nights at Universal Orlando Theme Park. With the purchase of this ticket, you'll receive access to both parks, the Orlando Universal Studios Florida and Universal Island of Adventure Park. Included in your ticket is access to over 25 rides and attractions, unlimited food at select restaurants and booths, and unlimited non-alcoholic beverages. Since this is a special ticketed event, the OI Meetup regulates the quantity of tickets sold to provide guests a great experience with low crowds. You'll be able to enter the park a few hours before they close to normal park guests. In years past, they allowed OI Meetup guests to enter the park around 5 p.m., and the event usually lasts until 1.30 a.m. Your OI ticket will include offers on discounted hotel rates, where you can save up to 45% on select Universal Orlando resorts. The next available OI Meetup is August 9th and 10th, November 15th, 16th, 22nd, and 23rd, and December 6th, 7th, and 13th through 14th. This was our first OI meetup back in February, and we have to say it was a great way to enjoy the parks without being overcrowded by guests. After parking and walking through City Walk, you'll see signs pointing you towards the entrance to the OI meetup. In February, the OI meetup entrance was near Universal Studios entrance on the left. Here, they will bring you backstage, check you in, and you'll receive a wristband and physical ticket to get you into the park. Now let's take a look at some of the rides and food offered around the park. The night of our OI meetup, we were greeted with some Florida rain showers, but we didn't let that stop us from enjoying the night. Our first stop for food was the Comic Strip Cafe, where they offered beef bulgogi rice bowls, egg rolls, fried rice, and cookies. Our next stop was the Captain America Diner, where they offered burgers, chicken strips, and fries. There's a ton of food offered around the parks, so I'd recommend sharing amongst your group so you can enjoy all the food and not get too full. In addition to select restaurants open around the park, most of the snack booths are open that have popcorn, pretzels, frozen lemonades, and turkey legs. Most of the rides are open during the event, such as Hulk Coaster, Spider-Man, Velocicoaster, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, Hagrid's, Dr. Seuss, Jurassic Park River Adventure, and much more in the Islands Adventure Park. After walking through the front portion of Island of Adventure, we decided to head over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Hogsmeade. the Three Broomsticks restaurant, where they offered shepherd's pie, fish and chips, salad, fruit, apple pie, and the infamous butterbeer.
from this restaurant, we decided to share the shepherd's pie, fish and chips, and the apple pie. My personal favorite was the fish and chips. In Hogsmeade, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure, and Flight of Hippogriff and the Hogwarts Express was open. This was probably an hour or two into the event, and Hogsmeade, Harry Potter, and the Forbidden Journey was at a standby wait time. Its magical creature motorbike adventure ride had a 45 minute wait time, and as the night went on, that wait time went down. Now let's take the Hogwarts Express to head over to Universal Orlando Theme Park. Here in Diagon Alley, they had a few different areas available to eat at. Here's the Leaky Cauldron, where they had pea salad, green salad, shepherd's pie, and butter beer. We then headed next door to the Florian's Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor, where we had the chance to try multiple unique ice cream flavors. We tried the apple crumble, Huckleberry, clotted cream, sticky toffee pudding, and strawberry peanut butter. My personal favorite was the clotted cream.
While in this area, make sure you stop and take a ride on Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, and watch Iron Belly, the fire-breathing dragon. Did you know that the dragon's fire can reach temperatures up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit? Some other rides open during the OI meetup on the Universal Studios side is Rip Ride Rocket, Transformers, Revenge of the Mummy, Men in Black, Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, and Illuminations Villicon Minion Blast, Simpsons, E.T., just to name a few. Here you can see the park is pretty empty, so limiting those number of tickets really makes this worth it. This is one of the many snack carts they have open during the event. You can grab hot dogs, turkey legs, popcorn, pretzels, they have drinks and snacks, all included in your ticket price. At Springfield USA Fast Food Boulevard, they had many food offerings such as burgers, hot dogs, curly fries, chicken and waffles, grilled chicken sandwiches, salads, wraps, basket o bait, and pizza. Depending on the time of year when the OI meetup is occurring, they may offer specialty seasonal dishes. For example, this was during the Mardi Gras festival, so they offered many of the specialty dishes from the Mardi Gras booths. This is the Chilaquiles Verdes. You may be wondering if this specialty ticketed event is worth the $245 price tag. Well, here it is broken out, the OI ticket in comparison to a standard one-day two-park ticket. There are some additional factors you personally need to consider to determine if this event is right for you such as if you're going to eat and take advantage of that offering, or you're simply here to ride the rides. Here's a comparison of the two. A one-night OI ticket costs $245, whereas a single-day two-park ticket costs $204. If unlimited food and reduced wait times aren't a major factor in decision, that difference is $41 between the ticket. Now let's try to compare two tickets one for one. As already stated previously, the OI event includes access to two parks, unlimited food, unlimited non-alcoholic beverages, and lower wait times. I've added a few features to the Universal Orlando theme park ticket to try to make them equivalent. On the right, I added a two-park Universal Express Pass, which should reduce the wait time, a one-day Coca-Cola souvenir cup, and some miscellaneous food. That totals at $427. So, if you are looking for a specialty ticketed event with reduced wait times, the OI event may be worth the price. For our group, we thoroughly enjoyed the event and have plans to go back in the future. I would recommend this event, but I'll let you make that decision. If you're looking for a fun night of rides, laughs, and food, it's a great experience. Thanks for watching everyone! If you enjoyed the video, subscribe down below.